Hello friends, Stephen Talbot here and today is Friday, December 15th, 2017 and it is my pleasure to be recording this video for you to see. Um, TGIF, right? It's Friday. Um, so I got up a little bit late this morning because um, I went to help my friend clean a couple of Airbnbs last night <clears throat> and we were there, it's like a two separate units one of them is like a studio and one of them is a three bedroom so it's a really big house and so it took us quite a while and uh we had a couple of beers and then my friend was like oh, i'm hungry let's order a pizza and i was like oh lord you know pizza is my like arch nemesis um well in different i mean like pizza doesn't always give me heartburn but i guess it depends on like the sauce the different sauces that, that different pizza places use anyway I ate this piece of pizza and I got home and I could not sleep. My, I had heartburn so damn bad. Um, so, I slept pretty late this morning. But I still managed to get through um, my entire morning ritual. And I had a really good meditation session. And I did, I'm still doing that 30 day challenge. Which my entire body is sore. But, I, at the same time, my foot is not hurting right now. And I know from experience, the second that your foot doesn't hurt means that you should give it more time. <laughs> So I'm gonna continue to do these like these this 30 day challenge for the 30 days and like I work up a sweat. I, it's just not cardio per se. It's more like push ups and uh, side planks and like jumping jacks and like these different things. Like each day you go through this whole routine and, and each day it's actually different, which is pretty cool too. Cause it it's a full body workout, but each day you, it has you working different things, and so that's really cool. So that you don't like. You know, if you work out too much in one area, like, you can't move the next day or whatever. So, um, I did all that. And then, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, if you remember, um, if you remember, like, if you haven't seen my video a few days ago, go and watch it. It was about, like, how to get over people who have done you wrong and sort of how to move on from people who have, like, done you wrong. And like, you either have to forgive, forget, or take some kind of action in order to move forward in your own lives in a positive way. You have to, like, like all these things that are in the back of your mind, people who have done you wrong, people who you just can't forget about, people who owe you money that just fallen off the face of the earth, your family members who have done you wrong, that person who burnt a whole, smoked a cigarette in your car the time you let them borrow it and, and uh, didn't say anything about it. Just all these things that you have sort of built up that you're not addressing is holding you back and it, and, 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 and it holds me back so in the video a few days ago I talked specifically about my ex-partner and how every time I reached to go get my Bluetooth speaker or certain devices that he sort of stole my luggage and some other things it really pissed me off so I in that video I was asking for you guys to chime in and give me some advice about what are the best ways to get over that I either need to take action and and, and you know, uh, hold that person accountable or try to make that person accountable for their actions or I just need to get over it. Um, and so I've been thinking about that a lot. And today I happen to come across a podcast um, by a guy named Andy, uh, a guy named Andy Murphy. And the name of the podcast is Mindset, the Mindset by Design podcast. And this was the very first episode that I listened to. He happened to come out with it today, although I think he releases episodes weekly. Weekly, and he's got like a hundred. This was episode 100, number 177. I will definitely link to his podcast in the description below so that you guys can check it out. But uh, uh, his. So I subscribed to his podcast like maybe a week ago or so, and I hadn't really listened to it to any of them yet. And I noticed his episode today was called "How to Forgive Anyone Who Ripped You Off." or let you down and instead make it fun. Fun period, you period, in period, it's, it's an acronym. So I, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about because he sort of like, he sort of talked about something that I haven't really thought about before and it sort of makes you see things in a different perspective. So uh, particularly people who might have done you wrong or people like I just talked about before, people that you have a, some kind of beef with. Um, so first he talks about, he says that, um, all actions have positive intent so at first I was like what I mean all actions have positive intent like whose actions everybody's actions what about mass murderers and murderers and killers and Hitler and you know uh, terrorists and stuff you mean their actions are positive that just didn't make sense to me and then he, he goes on to say that 
you know, we get so caught up in our own minds, in our own heads about how we are affected and our, our own emotions. And if we just shift the perspective a little bit and look at the, their, it could be their positive intent. Maybe they weren't even considering you and it's not even about you. Maybe it's only about that person who's doing it. Maybe it's their ego. I'm not saying what they do, what the person does is right. I am saying that they probably had some kind of positive intent in their own mind. Even Hitler. I mean, I know that's a dicey subject. But in his own mind, we don't, we're not inside of his mind. You know, uh, someone who stole from you, for example, they weren't trying to make you mad or sad or, or, or take anything away from you. It probably had nothing to do with you and instead had everything to do with them. They did it because they wanted that or they have an ego issue or whatever the case may be because they wanted to look good and keep up with the Joneses or whatever. You know, does that make sense? Um, and then he, he goes on to say, it's not about you. And he gives another example and he talks about rich people on Wall Street and the, 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 uh, the way that the economy crashed in 2008. How can those people have good intent? Well, if you sort of shift the, shift the focus on... Instead of you and how you feel and your emotions, maybe it has nothing to do with you and it had everything to do with them. They're trying to be safe. They're trying to be competitive. They're trying to make more money. They're trying to support their family. They're trying to become richer and richer because you always, you know, the best competition is to compete with yourself. Who knows their reason? Uh, the bottom line is if we sort of, instead of harboring negative feelings or um, the thoughts about the way that we feel in our emotions, um, particular to how someone has done us wrong, what if we sort of shift the focus and we say, okay, this has nothing to do with me. I can react and I can control my emotions, but I can't control someone else. And, you know, it's better to look at things in a positive light versus carry around that negativity because the, the, the likelihood of someone doing something specifically to harm you are very slim. I mean, there are bad people in the world, but the majority of people, I think that, that, that what he says rings true in that most actions, I, I, I don't know if all actions, but like he said, but most actions have positive intent. And if we can sort of just shift uh, shift the focus away from ourselves and, and, and sort of take a step back, for example, this is a practice in meditation, um, sort of sort of think about your emotions and look at it from, from as though you are observing, observing yourself, not as someone who's ex a human being who's experiencing a negative emotion and making it all about you. But what if you take a step back and go up a level and, and sort of in your mind, picture yourself looking at yourself and sort of look at, look, be the observer of, of the person experiencing those emotions instead of the person actually experiencing them. And I think that, that that's very, very powerful. Um, so I've been going for seven minutes. I'm trying to get my videos shorter. Um, so the, the acronym that he gives is called FUN. Um, and I'll just go over those really quickly. So f f uh, F stands for focus. Steer the focus on the positive intent um, and what you want out of this. So you want to get over it. You want to move on with your life. You want to look at uh, the positive instead of the negative. So you've got to shift your focus. Uh, U stands for underlying emotion. Sort of dig deep and find out what is the underlying emotion. Why, how are you, why are you reacting this way? Why do you feel this certain kind of way? Why do you feel hurt? And once you shift your focus into the positive intent, how do your emotions change? And sort of uh, observe that. And, and sort of, I think that you'll find, because I, I, I tried this today, I think that you'll find that uh, the emotion sort of uh, dissipates because, or the negative emotion sort of dissipates if you sort of shift your focus from the, neg from the negative to the positive, if that makes sense. And finally, N is the new decision. It stands for new decision. Are you getting over it? Are you going to forgive? Are you going to forget? What do you want to get out of this? Do you want to learn from this experience so you don't repeat the same thing again or don't put yourself in the same situation again? What, are, what steps are you going to take to keep this from happening again in the future? Um, you know, sort of shift your, uh, or, or make the decision to move forward. Make the decision to learn from this and to not harbor the negative feeling, but instead take what you can out of it as far as the learning experience uh, and the positivity of it all and then move on with your life um, and I guess that's all I got so with that I will uh, bid you guys farewell I hope you have a fantastic weekend um, if you're not subscribed to my channel please take just a few minutes to subscribe right now if you like this video in particular please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions comments suggestions concerns or if you think I'm cute let me know in the comments below and as always enjoy yourself